Vaughan. Success in his first over and for the second time in two games, Trent Bolt gets rid of Carl Mears in a very similar fashion. He attacking this time. He got him flirting and defending an off stump, fourth stump delivery. This is, is to me, is a challenge for Kyle Mears going forward. Whenever the ball has swung this year, he's found himself at sea. Clean him up through and through. Tim Saudi follows the lead of Trent Bolt and picks up one of his own. There's that wobble seam or three-quarter seam, hit the deck, nip back. The ID length to world-class performance for so many years, Southie and Bolt, Bolt and Southie. In the gap, well, just got his hands to it. Daryl Mitchell might just have grasped an opportunity. Excellent bowling from Trent Bolt. Yeah. Should have hold on, should have held on. A lot of players say that nothing is straightforward in terms of catching in this game or at slip. That's one that you practice a lot before the game. Two hands on it and you feel that you should hold on to those. In the air taken. Excellent catch. Absolutely brilliant from Bracewell again. Driving on the up, not to the pitch of it aerially. And brings about his demise. Brandon King perishes. You see how that seam position wobbled as it went down. That's a tremendous catch. That was dying. It was dropping. That's the sort of athleticism and commitment that you've seen and known about New Zealand over the years. In the air and out, New Zealand have four. It's Finn Allen who takes the catch. It's the big wicket of Shea Hope. And the New Zealand bowlers are on fire. Wow, what a start. New Zealand with four inside the power play. And the Bay wicket of Shea Hope just dropped a few overs ago. And a brilliant catch by Young Fink Allen. Oh, that's a beauty. It's well played, too. It's out. Nicholas Poran's gone straight up because I think he dropped his hands and it's come off the shoulder. Ultra Edge coming up. And the ball brushes the shoulder. Hits the shoulder. Keep rolling through. Keep rolling through. Keep rolling through. The flat line as it passes the bat. There's no bat involved. I'm ready to go back on field to Nigel. Nigel, I'm going to have to ask you to overturn your decision from out to not out. You're on screen signal now. I was very quick to give that decision. It's been overturned. Oh, he's knocked him over. It's a big inside edge onto the stumps. What a performance this is from the New Zealand fast bowlers. Bolt's got two in the over. New Zealand have five. And the West Indies in a lot of trouble. It's the third inside edge of the day. First for West Indies. Once again, looking to open the face of that bat. Oh, it's short. It's up on the air, just over. Conway at mid-wicket, hung in the air for a long time. Not convincing from Cardi. Quite ambitious from K Security. That one getting quite high on him. He's still deciding to take it on, even though the score is 26 for five. They just have to build a partnership here. Spend some time. They're only in, into the 10th over. Well, the required rate is just 4.5, so that's not an issue. But being able to bat out the 50 overs is going to be the key thing here for the West Indies. Edged and taken. That's beautiful from Southie. Nice, comfortable catch. 
And Guptill takes the catch at a second slip. The West Indies have lost six. And what a demolition job this is by Southie and Bolt. We've seen this so often from these two bowlers. Catching practice from Martin Guptill that slip. Jason Holder just guiding that one straight into his hands. He didn't have to move.